Now to your community focus, today at 4, there continues to be a lot of buzz around President Joe Biden's announcement about federal student loan forgiveness. And we know you likely have a lot of questions about it. So local financial professional Jeff Massey from Massey & Associates joining us live in studio here at 4 to help break everything down. Jeff, thanks for being here. Always a pleasure. Glad so we could help. We certainly want to start uh, maybe with the, the more difficult side. There are restrictions to this. This mm -hmm. isn't a wide open thing. So for example, loans taken out after June 30th of this summer are not included. So who is qualified with this program? So if your loan was in place prior to July 1st or June 30 this year, then you should qualify for, for when the loan was put into place. Okay. So that's, that's, that's a starting the key part. part. Yeah, and then it, it's based on income. So up to 125,000 for a single, 250 for a couple. You can potentially qualify for a reduction of $10,000 of your loan. And the Pell Grant, if you got a Pell Grant, it could be up to 20,000. So that's a pretty serious forgiveness and can help a ton of people over and above the current pause that's going on with, for payments. Mm. And the pause is important to remember, but, but what should people be doing in order to get this forgiveness? Is there anything that we have to do? Yeah, you would think it would be automatic. They have all their information, <laughs> right? right? right. It's, the crazy <laughs> they know how to part, find us. <laughs> the crazy part of the people that have paid off their loans, especially those that did it, finished it recently, well now they will have an opportunity to get some money back, but it's a little convoluted. They first have to request a refund of the payments from the federal, from the feds, and then request the loan forgiveness, hmm. which is kind of weird in my opinion. Hmm. So any payments made from March 13 of 2020, which was the initial pause due to the pandemic, that's, that's the qualifying period, then through June 30 of this year. So I know my daughter, my younger daughter, is one that will be very happy with that because <laughs> she just finalized her payments this summer. So I'm, I'm, I know she's looking forward to seeing how this works out. And there are timelines, too. Uh, they're suggesting you get your application in by December 31st. Mm. Um, and then uh, the, one of the better things to do is to go to ed.gov and sign up for updates mm. because then you can get an email uh, from ed.gov that will tell you what the next steps are, what the process would be. And, of course, this is assuming that it isn't challenged in court because oh, that hmm. is a possibility still, because some are arguing does, you know, whether or not the president actually has the authority to do this. Mm. Then another key point that people have asked are uh, about taxation. Yeah. If you right. get that forgiveness, it will not trigger federal taxation. What about state taxes? That's another question that can vary state by state. In Rhode Island, do yeah. you know? I don't know that answer. Okay. I apologize. All right, we'll, we'll yeah. look into that and make sure that we let people yeah. know. So there are still a lot of questions going on here. Um, in terms of that money, so let's mm -hmm. say potentially all of these uh, people who have student loans will now have a chunk of money every month that won't be going to that. The stock market has been very volatile. Ooh. What should people be doing with that money, or could they be doing with it? Yeah, the S&P closed at uh, 4070 today, so a little technical part. It bounced off the resistance level at 3,900, which we think is a good sign. Okay. Now, there's no guarantees there, obviously, but <laughs> it's at least a good sign. And if you have money to add in, now is the time to do it. The market has discounted quite a bit in value because it's down so much. So the old, old adage is what? Buy low, sell high. Now's the time to add money if you can. So in your retirement plans, if you can add more in there, that'll save you pre-tax dollars. That helps with your tax bill. It's a great idea to put that money to work now when the market is so low. Not necessarily just go get a new wardrobe. Well, wardrobe Maybe invest important. some of <laughs> it. <Come on>. Right? <laughs> Maybe treat yourself a little bit yes. and then do you know, something else. Balance. That's right. It's about balance. It's Have a little treat, that. but then think about the long term because now, now is the time. Look, if you know something is going on sale, you, you're going to go buy it if yeah. you're going to need it. Now's the time to buy investments. Do that because they are reduced in value. Jeff Massey from Massey & Associates, thank you so much for your insight today. Thank you. Thank you.